Okay, so as you guys know, Leslie's ex-boyfriend, I think it's Josu or Hostess. As you guys know, recently there were some photos that were leaked showing a man sucking on his iPhone. Yeah, I don't have the stick today. And due to that, he was getting roasted all over Twitter, people dragging him, and I'm sure he even got threats as well. He's in a part of America where that type of stuff, especially when you're masculine and an athlete, you're kind of looked down upon. Now, I did make a reaction to this on my reaction channel before this all came out. I'll put it here, and then I'll add my commentary afterwards. Before we move forward with this drama, if you guys love dogs, please like this video, because this dog I really need dog food and if you guys like my video I will get the money and be able to buy dog food for this cute little dog that's starving to death. He's not guys, I have to break it to you, he's not that way. I know you see the pictures and everything but he's not. And we're gonna get into the evidence and also why I think he is not gay or bisexual or whatever, okay? So basically Leslie's ex-boyfriend has been caught in the action with another guy but there's a lot behind it and we're gonna explain it okay so let's just get into this so I'm gonna scoot let's look into Nick's page it says Josu became known to the YouTube community after dating Leslie he introduced him to her platform if you don't know who Leslie is she is known for dating both Chris Sells and Clarence New York so she was in a relationship with Clarence she broke up Clarence, I I don't know if Clarence left her for Queen or they broke up and then he was with Queen or they were in the middle and then he was with Queen. That, that was a whole messy situation that happened, right? I, I feel like that was years ago. And um, yeah, so there's pictures there. <laughs> Anywho, X-Men who is not being exposed as DL looked dead at the camera so he knew he was being recorded so maybe he has been by this whole time and nobody <laughs> but can you also see something else in this uh picture look closely what what can you see you see a telephone this is key this is so key and i'm gonna get into that let's keep watching Okay, so in that little clip, she's talking about apparently he will probably trap her and then leave her just to have her there and have control, etc. So, obviously, he's from the Bronx, he's from the New York or whatever. They have that type of certain mindset, let's get money. Even if I have to get, mm, even if I have to let a man enjoy my deodorant stick we have to speak in code even if i let a man enjoy my deodorant stick at all costs we're not going to go any further than that then yeah okay and he knew what he was doing he's looking directly in the camera while this content creator for of is playing with his deodorant stick smelling it eating it doing whatever now the guy who's doing it is pretty popular in that realm he's very known for playing with men's um deodorant sticks youtube this is family friendly i'm talking about deodorant sticks he's known for playing with men's deodorant sticks and that's all he does he plays with men's deodorant sticks um orally so yeah he'd be doing that with all these type of guys might have something knowing how the OnlyFans community is. They don't get tested um, properly. And a lot of them actually have uh, herpes simplex 2 and 1. And if you're going to go in that business, you got to make sure that you get regularly tested and all that stuff. If anything, just be careful if you're going to go there. But yeah, they be doing that, right? So his business is uh, now out there and because of this he's signed to Mayweather or whatever so people are now roasting the hell out of him all over Twitter and like <laughs> making memes people are like no puede hacer hell nah ha 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 cause someone goes Jesus Vargas Josu Vargas they showed a video and in in his hand he has something in his hand and it's his phone so we all know when straight men go into this industry and they need this 
to have a fun deodorant stick, an excitement deodorant stick, they need stimula stimulation. Now, it could mean he has a um, erectile dysfunction, but I doubt that. It's because he is not attracted to other men. So he has to watch women to be able to be excited in that area. So therefore, he is not bi, he is not gay. He's gay for pay. <laughs> now I know you're gonna disagree with me. Ladies, I know, I know, I know how the game works. No! Okay, well, you're lesbian because you kissed the girl. You gave her a peck on the lips. You're lesbian. It's different. No, you're lesbian, bitch. Shut the fuck. You lesbian. You probably did it to excite someone else or just to give affection. It's okay if you do it just to give affection. It doesn't mean you're that way. But in this case, he's not. He needed woman. He had a phone in his hand, and I can only assume there was woman on there. He needed woman to get excited. He needed the money so bad. He knows that as a straight man doing that type of stuff, he's going to get a lot of attention and a lot of moolah in his account. And he's laughing his way to the bank. Now, is this going to affect his career? They're probably just going to make jokes a lot. It may cause like some problems within his family. Um, his dad, excuse me, might not accept it. Um, a lot of girls now are not going to want to F with him just because of that. While other girls are going to find that so exciting and so amazing that a man lets other men play with his uh, deodorant stick. So, yes, I want you to let me know in the comments right now what you think. And I'm just going to assume what some of you guys are going to say, what some of you ladies are going to say. One of the things you're going to say is, now nah, he is because he let up, it's a man doing it. you got to understand it wasn't another man's deodorant hole that he was playing with. He didn't even touch the man. There is no attraction there. A mouth is a mouth and everyone has one. You close your eyes, envision another lady, and you're on your way. In his case, he needed the phone to get excited. Another man did not get him excited. Comprendo. Tu comprendo. You understand me. Another man did not get him excited. So therefore, he is straight. Now, doing that may lead to other things and he may realize that he likes it and he may even explore it. That doesn't necessarily mean that he's into that. He just wants to see what it's like. Now, if he goes back and he really enjoys it, starts doing more things, then you will consider this man to like both. And he might be on a scale. He might like guys 30%, but he likes girls 80% more. So therefore, his connections with girls is a lot more stronger than it is with guys. Smash that like button. Now guys, he actually left a statement, all right? And this statement has got everyone questioning that, oh, he must be, because in this statement, he made a total excuse. But you gotta read it carefully. Let's get into it. He says, first of all, I want to start apologizing to all my fans, friends, family, and supporters for the unexpected mess about my sexuality. I want to make it clear that I had nothing against someone's personal sexual preference. However, I am not bi nor gay. I'm straight. I understand people will have their own opinion and thoughts about the situation and they're entitled to that. I guess it is what it is. It's a part of our new norm. With that being said, I admit, I have been going through a very difficult situation in my life. I have been battling depression and deal with some serious mental health issues. I have never understand what it was until I had experienced it. Many crazy thoughts have gone through my head recently, but I have learned I have to own up to my mistake and face the consequences. So, people see this and they're like, Oh, so you're trying to blame your mental health for letting someone suck the 
the iPhone. We, we had to call it iPhone now. I don't know where my deodorant stick is. But if you read on, it says, my poor judgment had led to the biggest mistake of my life. So he's depressed. He's dealing with a lot of things. And maybe because of this, it's not making him be rational. And it made him make a poor judgment for some mullah. Which is, so he let a man suck his iPhone because he was depressed, it made a poor judgment, he wanted money, and he must have been in a bad situation for him to do that if he doesn't like it. Because some people do OF for fun, for a little cash flow, they don't care about what other people think, while others, you know, they end up in a situation where they're like, you know what, I need some mullah, let a guy mm -mm me and uh, get some money for it. But anyway, it continues, it says, it will be an understatement to say that I regret the whole situation. For those who have stood by, beside me during a difficult period, I thank you. And once again, apologize for those who have affected both directly and indirectly. And for those who find themselves on the other side of the agreement. I apologize if I offended you. These are moments in my life that break people. I will find it in myself to be the best person I can. Joshua Vargas. So, of course, you have people that are coming out saying he's using mental health as an excuse. I think this was done, the statement was done poorly. I believe he could have addressed it a lot more easier, but probably addressing it the real way, yo, I needed some money, is probably not the best way to address it because it's going to make him look bad. He's probably really embarrassed and doesn't want to go into detail. Um, saying he's depressed and all that affected his poor decision. I can see why people saw that as like an excuse. And it does look like an excuse. But at the same time, people do get mental health issues and stuff like that. Don't laugh, y'all. It's serious. But seriously, some people, they, they can't think clearly. They make poor decisions on to get certain things. And maybe he, he really does regret it. I'm surprised, though, he never asked the man to take it down if he regret it. Because I'm sure there's that option and the guy's not going to care if he takes it down because that guy that he was doing stuff with is pretty popular on twitter he's known for sucking um the iphones up of many men so i'm pretty sure he's not going to really care if he took joe's down but maybe i'm wrong but i think he should give a more detailed situation but hey it's his business it's up to him how much detail he want to give i'm just saying it'll be a banger youtube video man it'll get hella views my opinion still stands on it, guys. I want to know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think this man is into men? Or maybe he is by a little bit, but not too much. Me, personally, I don't think he is into it. I don't think he's attracted to it. Because, again, he needed the phone and to watch woman on the phone to get it bouncing. He also shared my video that I made. So I'm assuming that he agreed with everything I said. But he did take it down. So maybe there was something in there that he didn't agree with. So yeah.